Sorry about missing out like two hours of gameplay on these videos, it's just due to the fact that I had um, Camtasia Studio and it's very frame rate as you can see in the first four episodes so I'm just going to start recording them now on Fraps so it's got zero frame rate issues so it's better for you guys. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Feindall thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mu- I think so. You're the- I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. The war keeps most folks away these days. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. What do you want? Got any ale or mead? Got any ale or mead? I need ale. All right, then. Most of my customers are locals. Come here to relax after Need a, a room? Talk to Delphine. Take a look. Then. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some. Got any ale or mead? What's he doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm just a cook, lad. So what's your story? Just here, you look like you could use an ale. I ain't looking to make friends. You like skeever liver? No? Tough luck. You're that visitor been poking around. I don't owe you money, do I? Food's hot. Never said it was good. We got rooms and food. You're that Drink visitor too. been poking I around. Cook. Ain't much else to tell. I'm the innkeeper. It's my bit. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. <laughs> Most of my customers are locals, come here to relax after a hard day's toil. <laughs> sure I am. We got some firs and tree branches, paint them white, and then tie them to stone. Instant front.
Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers. But you seem all right. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Everything all right? Stupid dog. You're new around here. Get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. My father is Alvor. You're that visitor been poking around. Oh, you wanted the attic room. Why didn't you say so the first time? The thing is, we don't actually have an attic room. But I think I know what you mean. Go ahead and make yourself at home. What are you doing that for? Close the door. Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I hope so, but you'll forgive me if I don't assume that something's true just because the Greybeards say so. I just handed you the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Does that make me Dragonborn too? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the Horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent, and not some Thalmor plant. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Where'd you go?